these two horses in a race together is as powerful team as you can you could ever want and uh, having f uh, a heartland as just the you know the horse that can you know maybe even set the pace if you need it or anything like that but um, these horses le legislate in Futura would have taken on any horses at in in any time in history in in South Africa uh, I really believe that how he's a 119 with his record is just uh, I'm, I'm gobsmacked, honestly. I, I put him in a, in a 1,200 against the best sprinters in South Africa, and, you know, he led the 1,200. I brought him out in the season, in the Greenpoint Stakes. He broke the course record. To me, it was the most impressive mile that I've seen a horse run in, in years. I, I haven't seen a horse go past a field of that quality in that sort of speed and then break the course record. So I've done the same thing this year for the Queen's Plate because at the end of the day, the most important race for me and, and, and legislate is the Queen's Plate. It's something that uh, I was hoping would win last year. It looked it was, it was like odds on. It's like legislate and I together. We, we, we like become mates and I just zoned into this race and done the best that I can with him to get him to the race 110%. To win the Queen's Plate at wait for age terms over a mile is as big a thing as you can get in South Africa. This is the race, of a mile, this is the race you want to win. So I, it's my dream every season to try and win this race. So luckily with the clients I have, uh, uh, we've got a, a very strong opportunity this year. I do believe that if this also was with other tra Cape trainers in, in, in Cape Town, like, um, like Joey or Mike Bass or uh, Breckwolf, any of those guys, these horses would be winning this race. These also are good enough. It's just that whether I've done the job right to, to make sure. And obviously we have a bit of luck in the running.